Chris. Oh, who would be a bolt on tackle? Have read when I can read Giles or Tiol. Johnson and Gary Milan. I can he go study Noel. Peel side. Peter Jones. Go study Peel and Noel. Higher Donald and Credi and Del Silva Clive Norlin, Willie Cosby, and Jordan Dimrick and all. A tender when he had an encounter. If they did Peter Thomas. Ah, hold on. Yn anffodus, dros yr ysglys, a chyfle wedi mynd ar goll. Andrew Williams, y prop, sy'n fyfyrwyr yn y brys gol yn rhyd y chen. Yn hanu o Abergwain. Hwn yn ôl, yn y dyrig helyn. Paul Turner, hwn nhw'n gweld fy bwlch yno. Turner ar ei holi, o gwaith gyw gwych gan Turner. Mae sy'n manly. Manly ti fewn i'r rhyd deuddeg Peter Thomas. Dyma chi gais cyntaf gêm, Peter Thomas drosodd, tra celun ar y blaen o bedwar pwynt i ddim. Paul Turner, the delicate little chip, chasing his own kick. The pass out to Chris Manley. Manley on the burst, looking back inside, being chased by the Cardiff cover, on to Peter Thomas. And Peter Thomas from that distance was going to make sure of that try, and over he went. Not a difficult kick. 319 points to his credit, and now he's got another two. That makes it... 321 for the season. Quite extraordinary. Some 10 metres to go before the Cardiff trial and a pick up by Hemi Taylor. Looking for the support, finding it from James. And now Jones into the action. All the back row handling the ball, but Cardiff recovering well with a pick up. But Lewis has sight of possession. To Turner looking for that half gap maybe might too selfish that time with all the backs waiting for the delivery the drive on from Newbridge they're going to capitalize though captain needing the shove Lewis short side Jones the interception by Ford oh this could be dramatic now has he got the speed to beat the cover David Reese challenging Ford on the outside and Reese covering superbly well, how unexpected, an interception by Steve Ford. You have thought that a man with 26 tries to his credit would have given the Newbridge cover a clean pair of heels. But over the halfway line, up towards the 10-metre line, being shadowed all the time by the Wales B fullback David Rees, and Rees eventually getting his man into touch. Geraint John then kicked a penalty for Cardiff to make the score 6-3. Seven at the back for Newbridge, Peter Jones bidding farewell to his career at the welfare ground this afternoon. Taylor just getting a hand to it. Waters coming around in support. And away comes Jones. David Hussey lending support as well. Alan Phillips. Giles, getting John Crandon half away, now looking for the support, the grubber kick. David Reese, superbly positioned. Really the bounce on these hard grounds, defeating everybody. Turner, and once he got up his sleeve. And away goes Simon Hill. Hill back to Paul Turner. Can he link up this time to Hemi Taylor, the New Zealander? Taylor making tracks over the 10 metre line. Looking back inside for the support. The pick up by Johnson, movement still going on, Johnson all the way to the corner, oh what a try by Newbridge. That really is a centenary celebrating try, all begun right in their own 22. Carney putting the pressure, but away they went. Then eventually Hemi Taylor, this big man, this New Zealander from Waikato, making tracks, the ball momentarily lost, but picked up by Johnson, and then Johnson as the mobile hooker that he is, getting right to the corner for Newbridge's second try. Ten points to three, Turner with a conversion, swinging it in, he's got there, right from the touchline. And that'll give his colleagues some confidence, knowing that uh, he's beginning to bang them over. Bob Master, the Cardiff captain, looking forward to an Australian summer. On grounds very much like this one, bone hard. And that really is an inviting position. 
Neil James seems to be the control man. The captain takes over. And what have they got arranged? A centenary ploy from Newbridge. On to Shaw. Has he got there himself? He's there. The try has been awarded. What a run by Terry Shaw. There's no stopping the man once the call had been made. That big frame of his, six foot five and 17 stone, 10 pounds, just charging at the card defence. No stopping him. He may well have run towards the Newbridge Town Centre before being stopped. Newbridge not retreating. Offside, another penalty to Cardiff. Quickly taken. Giles. Back inside to Crothers. There's the Cardiff set up. Giles again. Geraint John, David Evans, there seem to be plenty of new with shirts there, but Evans, shirts there, but Evans has made some space. Back again to Giles. Oh, total confusion. Not making any ground, not really getting over the advantage line, but surely Rea can, and he's got some speed, he's got portal outside. Cardiff's first try. Cardiff had crossed the Newbridge line. Amidst all kinds of confusion in the Cardiff ranks, the ball well won. Giles not really knowing where his outside half was, but uh, eventually Rea, the man responsible, the captain doing the right thing, straightening up the line, going for the Newbridge try line, and of course Gerald Cordell on his outside and Cordell crossing for his 33rd try of the season. Kieran John with the conversion, difficult one. Well, he struck it high, he struck it well. It's two points to Cardiff, and Cardiff certainly coming back into this game in the second half. 16 points to nine. After that kick, Turner landed a penalty for Newbridge to make it 19 9. Johnson's throw, two handed by Sutton Lewis to Turner. Hemi Taylor has come in uh, as the extra centre to Chris Manley. Over the 10 metre line. Newbridge beginning to pick up a pace or two. Harris on the far side. And it comes Lichman to Johnson. Bob Smith the replacement. Two or three metres short of the Cardiff try line. Lewis attempting to get the ball away. Giles going through for Cardiff. Hammy Taylor on the pickup and there are men over. Manley. Um, has Manley been too selfish? No, it's David Reese. It's as simple as that. Another good running try by Newbridge. He eventually got there. David Reese, the try scorer. Newbridge certainly gathering a pace or two. And after the surge forward by Terry Shaw, the ball coming out. Eventually to Hemi Taylor. Then to Chris Manley. Manley then uh, wanted to have a go himself, but eventually half caught in the tackle. And then to David Reese. And that's another try for Newbridge. Conversion to come from Paul Turner. It's just inside. Nearly shaded the paintwork, but they all count. An extra two points for Paul Turner. Johnson with the throw. Good throw. He's got Shaw and Sutton there, but Cardiff uh, seem to have an interest in this possession. Can they drive Newbridge back? Failed to do so for most of the afternoon. And Newbridge have won it. And that's been the story of the afternoon in the close quarters. And here's Gerald Cordell. Put some pace into it. Cordell, round two men, gets the ball away to Matthew Lloyd. An optimistic pass up on the far side. And Ford will go over for the second Cardiff try. And how distinctive of the Cardiff season that the two try scorers on the scoring sheets, Steve Ford and Gerald Cordell, how often has that happened this season? The try, a rather optimistic pass from Matthew Lloyd as soon as the ball had gone along the three quarters, but it found the replacement centre. First touch of the ball for Andy Moore and the try scoring pass to Steve Ford. 25 points to 13, they can afford to run. So far, no indication. The 
applause all around. Everybody appreciating the running style that has been so successful for Newbridge this season. Lewis to Hemi Taylor, the man from Waikato. Can he get there himself? He's got there. Oh, what a way to end a season. Hemi Taylor, who's played for Wararapa Bush and Waikato. Relatively simple kick for Paul Turner, and this surely is the last kick of the game. Turner, the point scorer, straight through the post, 31 points to 13. Newbridge coming up trumps, but on Wednesday night they couldn't stop Clenethley clinching their first merit table championship. The Scarlets run in three tries, the clincher from the Wales prop Lawrence Delaney, his first of the season. What a time to score it, the smile says it all. Clenethley won again today, Delaney did not score. The only issue to be decided now is who finishes second, Neath or Newbridge. And what a season the Gwent Club's had in its centenary year. No wonder then coach Paul Evans is in buoyant mood talking to Martin Williams. Yes, first of all, we're delighted to have beaten Cardiff, Martin. Um, they've always been a bit of a bogey side for us. Uh, but as you say, the style is also important. Uh, we play a 15-man style of rugby if we possibly can. And today, with the conditions as they were, uh, and the, the amount of ball we won early on, we were delighted to be able to run it. The unfortunate thing, I suppose, was that uh, although we had tremendous pressure, then we couldn't turn it into points. You could have scored more. We should have scored more, in actual fact. Um, we have created the situations and we seem to be uh, uh, goal-shy, so to speak. We, we get to five yards and then, for some reason, we seem to pack in. But yes, we should have scored a lot more points. Important win for you then in the centenary season. Unfortunately, you didn't make the cup finals. It would have been the highlights for you in this uh, celebratory year. Yes, the semi-final was important to us. I mean, it was a delightful day and uh, a marvellous occasion. I think the centenary season for me personal, personally will be remembered for the way that we've played. Uh, the open style of rugby, uh, which at times uh, doesn't always prove successful. Uh, but uh, in the second half, in the semi-final, we showed what we can do when we gain sufficient ball. And uh, I think this will be remembered by me personally uh, as, uh, as to the style of play that we've adopted. It's well known, Paul, that uh, centenary clubs that tend to attract players get all those good tours at, yes, the, right. <laughs> at yeah. the end. Can you hold on uh, to these players? Because you've got a, a good bunch of youngsters there as well. Well, I suppose, really, you'd have to ask the players that, Martin, but, um, you know, I've gone on record as saying that players have come to Newbridge, I feel, to further their careers. Uh, I don't think there'll be any problem in losing the players. Uh, I hope so, anyway. I hope they stay with us. Uh, when Clive Davis and I took over, we said that it would be a three or four uh, term of office, and uh, hopefully the players will be with us uh, until perhaps we finish. So the aim is uh, a cup? championship and possibly by the time you, by the time you finish boy maybe a, a league uh, title as well yes i won't comment on leagues martin but <laughs> certainly it would be nice to uh, i suppose to progress from what we've done this season obviously that would mean uh, getting into the final uh, and winning one of the championships but uh, to, to progress is the aim paul evans nice to see him doing well roll on the leagues